Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. Today I'm going to be doing something I've never personally done before, and that's called hanger steak, also known as the butcher's best kept secret. And if you'll look right here, this is the hanger steak. Now this is actually one entire steak. The hanger steak requires a pretty good bit of trimming. It's got some very tough sinew that runs down the center of it. It's got silver skin, and that's the great thing about this particular hanger steak. It came from Matador Prime Steak Company and it's already trimmed, already ready to season, already ready to go on a grill. So we're going to get started with this right after this. All right, so we're going to keep it very simple, just like I do any steak. We're going to use salt for one. I'm using Jacobson sea salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. A little cayenne pepper. If you've never tried cayenne on beef, give it a try. I've been doing this for years. It doesn't give it any heat if that's what you're worried about but it does add a really nice flavor to it I'm going to flip these over repeat the process on the back side more salt more fresh cracked black pepper and more cayenne I'm going to be doing these on a Weber kettle today. I haven't even began to start my charcoal. I want these to sit here with this dry rub on them for the time it takes me to light up charcoal and get my pit ready, I'll bring you back outside. These are better left undisturbed, so we're just gonna let it sit here and rock. All right, this will probably be a good time to check, see how we look on these, and go ahead and add these as well. Oh man, yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I got my instant read thermometer. Let's take a look and see what we're reading. 133, 127, 34. Right, let's try our smaller pieces. I'm going to take these two off. We're just going to let them rest, hang out for about 15, 20 minutes. These are coming off right behind them. So these are good. This one here. This one here. Let's get these off. We're going to set them to the side and let them rest. These are going to be right behind them. Been resting around 15 minutes, getting ready to cut into this. I'm going to cut into the biggest one. Then we're going to cut into the smallest, see how we did. I pulled it off nominal 130 degrees each one was reading a little different in different areas of course that's completely normal but uh after resting for a few minutes they probably might have hit about 140. i didn't wrap them in full so maybe they didn't at any rate i'm looking for a medium medium rare all right i'm gonna look first and see how this grain is running you can see it very easily here so what i'm seeing is we need to slice this this direction here we're definitely a little medium well towards the end, which that's always the case too, whether you do tri-tip or anything, it changes shapes and sizes throughout it. Not a real even cut. Now I'm starting to get a little bit more on the medium as we're going deeper in. Oh man, yeah. I'm salivating, y'all. Pattern's changing a little bit on this as far as the grain's going, so I'm having a make an adjustment. It's important that you look at the grain on any meat. You always want to go across it. If it's running this way, you want to go that way. That's going to ensure you the most tenderest cut. And another thing about meat, once you cut it, 
takes it a moment, but it begins to oxidize, and that's when you really start seeing that pinkish color come through to give you a better idea just how you did. And as you can see, that's a perfect medium, medium rare. All right, now I'm not going to bore you with cutting all this, but I do want to cut one of the smaller ones just to see if I time that out about right to where it allowed the thick ones and the smaller ones to finish at one time. Let's try this one right here. All right, let's uh, let's try it right here. Let me, there again, let's look for a green if I can see it. Looks to be running about the same direction. Yep, we did good. All right, here we go. Give this a shot and see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. If you like ribeye, you're going to love this stuff, guaranteed. I want to thank Matador Prime Steak Company for sending out this hanger steak. What's so great about companies like what Matt has over there at Matador Prime Steak is that I and you probably can't find this. Only select cities, you know, people with HEBs and, and big chains like that can find cuts like this. The rest of the United States is just out of luck. Unless you go online with people like Matador Prime Steak and it's available anytime, they'll send it right to your door. Hope you enjoyed the video. Fantastic steak. Till next time, smoke your ribs.